विब्रियो पैरामिलिटिकस लाइक मेनी अदर ग्राम नेगेटिव बैक्टीरिया ग्रो इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ बाइल सॉल्ट्स दे आर ग्राम नेगेटिव कार्बोड रॉड शेपड फैकल्टेटिवली एनोरोबिक बैक्टीरिया isolation of the vibrio parahemolyticus or any vibrio species is facilitated by the media using an alkaline ph alkaline peptone water is commonly used for isolation and identification of vibrio parahemolyticus or vibrio species in this video we are going to discussing about enumeration isolation and identification of vibrio parahemolyticus by using usfda bam method now let us start the video hi welcome back to my channel uh, today's our topic is enumeration isolation and identification of vibrio parahemolyticus by using bam method this video we are going to discussing in four components the first one is discuss about pre enrichment primary enrichment process and the second component is selective agars what are the selective agars to use for isolation of vibrio parahemolyticus then the third component is biochemical test the last one is confirmatory test now we will discuss about primary or pre enrichment now media is required for isolation identification of vibrio paramilitcus yes what are the media so the first one is phosphate buffer solution as a diluent the second one is alkaline peptone water for the primary enrichment or pre enrichment purpose we have to use that media and the selective agar is thiosulfate citrate bile salt sucrose agar and the fourth one is T1N1, a tryptone, tryptone broth with T, uh, 1% NaCl, tryptone broth with 0% NaCl, tryptone broth with 3% NaCl, 5% NaCl, 8% NaCl. So, to determine the halophilic ability or to determine the salt tolerance of the vibrio species, we have to do the NaCl, we have to add the NaCl to the tryptone medium that is also required and another one is Vagatsuma media for the Kanagawa reactions so Vagatsuma agar we have to use for the hemolysis to determine the hemolysis probabilities of the pathogenic Vibrio paramilitcus strains and rest all a saline solution and oxidase reagent a motility medium and urease broth and other remaining medias are arginine glucose slant when we come to the equipment same as other pathogenic bacteria like salmonella or vibrio cholerae so equipment remains same incubators all remains hot air vents hot door cleaves so laminar air, air flow chambers uv chambers etc like the same now vibrio paramilitcus isolation procedures take 50 grams of seafood or meat samples blend in a 450 ml of phosphate buffer solution phosphate buffer is like a diluent so homogenate the mixer for 1 minute at 8000 rpm so after blending we have to transfer after blending means what this is this is 1 is to 10 dilution so from the 1 is to 10 dilution again we have to do serial dilutions so take 1 ml of 1 is to 10 dilution inoculum transfer to the 9 ml of phosphate buffer solution. This gives rise to 1 is to 100 dilution. Then again take 1 ml of 1 is to 100 dilution transfer to the 9 ml of phosphate buffer solution. This gives rise to the 1 is to 1000 dilution. Like that we have to make serial dilutions if required. Then after that serial dilutions we have to prepare alkaline peptone water so we have to prepare three test tubes with double strength alkaline peptone water and three test tubes for 10 to the power 1 is to 100 dilution three test tubes single strength alkaline peptone water 1 is to 1000 dilution three test tubes with 10 ml of single strength apw and 1 is to uh, 10000 dilutions three test tubes with 
सिंगुलेशन थ्री पी डब्ल्यू एक्सेप्ट वन इज टू टेन डायल्यूशन वन इज टू टेन डायल्यूशन ओनली वी हैव टू टेक डबल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ ए पी डब्ल्यू एंड द इनाकुलम आल्सो एज मच एज पॉसिबल इनाकुलम हाउ मच वी हैव टू टेक इज हियर वाई बिकॉज डबल स्ट्रेंथ इज रिक्वायर्ड इफ द प्रोडक्ट इज प्रोसेस्ड आर फ्रोजन because the organism has to stabilize the organism growth also has to exhibit then only the proliferation or the turbidity will form in the epw so to exhibit the optimum growth we have to use double strength also so prepare the test tubes with 10 ml of double strength epw and add 10 ml of 1 to 10 dilution inoculum into each test tubes this is one step and remaining 1 is to 100 dilution means 10 to the power of 2 dilution take 1 ml of dilution take 1 ml of this inoculum and add into the single strength of 10 ml of apw this three test tubes will take the same procedure will repeat 10 to the power of 3 10 to the power of 4 also when after inoculation we have to keep all these medias in a incubator overnight so overnight means 16 to 18 hours we have to incubate at 35 degree centigrade plus or minus 2 degree centigrade this is about the process of primary enrichment or pre enrichment process after 16 to 18 hours of incubation then we will go for selective agar process now let us see the selective agar process after overnight incubation of sample in primary enrichment apw we have to transfer 3 mm loop so take endless loop sterile endless loop transfer the 3 mm of inoculum onto surface dried tcbs plates yes tcbs is highly selective medium for vibrio species yes it will inhibit the growth of enterobacteria and other fecal coliforms while encouraging the growth of vibrio species thio sulfate citrate bile salt sucrose agar yes this is highly favorable medium for the growth of vibrio species take 88.1 g of dehydrated thio sulfate citrate bile salt sucrose agar medium and dissolve in 1 liter of distilled water yes gently boil the media agitate with constant agitation with stirring rod so until dissolving all the media we have to stir constantly with a stirrer then we should not autoclave tcbs why because if autoclaving will denature the media so that is why only we have to boil the tcbs media after boiling then we have to pour the medium 15 to 20 ml in surface i mean uh, petri dishes a surface dried a uh, tcbs plates once the tcbs plates are dried then we have to transfer 3 mm loop full of primary enrichment inoculum we have to take inoculum 3 mm loop full of inoculum from 1 is to 10 dilution and streak onto the tcbs plates double strength inoculum into the tcbs plates then again we have to take 1 is to 100 dilution and 1 is to 1000 dilution of inoculum of primary enrichment medium then transfer to the tcbs plates incubate at 35 plus or minus 2 degree centigrade for 18 to 24 hours so after 18 to 24 hours the vibrio parameticus will exhibit the colonies the colonies will appear like blue or green color colonies with 2 to 3 mm diameter with opacity centers then we will go for biochemical test so pick the suspected colonies from selective agar of the 10 1 is to 10 dilution and 1 is to 100 10000 dilution whichever it may be so pick the suspected colonies of selective agar and streak on to the arginine glucose slant so this is the biochemical test a screening test 
transfer two or more such species colonies from TCBS plates to arginine glucose slant. Stick the slant and stab the butt. Stick the slant and stab the butt. Keep it incubation for overnight at 35 plus or minus 2 degrees centigrade. And in the same way, pick one or two suspected colonies or suspicious colonies and transfer to T1 and 0. Means tryptone with 0% sodium chloride and tryptone with 3% sodium chloride. Transfer the suspected mediums. So suspected colonies into the T1 and 0 and T1 and 3. Here also T1 and 0 and T1 and 3. Keep it for incubation overnight. So this is biochemical test and screening test. Then the next step we will go for confirmatory test. So the arginine glucose slant. Streak the slant, stab the butt and incubate with the cap loose overnight. Both Vibrio Paramilicus and Vibrio Vilificus produce an alkaline purple slant and acid but yellow because acid but is yellow because of arginine dehydrolase is negative but no gas or H2S in arginine glucose land we can observe then we will go for further confirmatory tests 